Have you noticed how online video content has increased in quality over the past few years? That's because video content publishers have found ways to monetize their content. With the help of the IAB, industry leaders have developed standardized ways to serve ads into online videos. The better the advertising options, the easier it is to put resources into quality content. In 2016, IAB announces two important releases designed to further improve the digital video marketplace, VAS 4.0 and the first ever update to the digital video ad format guidelines. VAST is an acronym for Video Ad Serving Template. First released in 2008, VAST streamlined the ability to serve ads to a host of digital video players. Fast forward eight years to 2016, when many television broadcasters are now making content available online, today's landscape is much more complex than it was just a few years ago. With screen sizes and devices that range from large screen TVs to small mobile phones, along with varied connection speeds and dozens of ad serving platforms, a new service vendor has emerged, the Ad Stitching Service. Ad Stitching is an intermediary service that receives ads on behalf of a video player and stitches it into a content stream for the player. The result is a seamless stream of video that offers publishers a new sense of control in high quality video environments. The updates to VAST and the ad format guidelines include support for ad stitching along with features that improve performance and ad playback accountability. Let's look at these updates. The first update in both documents includes support for the mezzanine file. In video, the mezzanine file is the raw, high-quality video used to generate smaller, low-quality files for easier playback. Since the mezzanine file is so big, only the smaller files are used in ad serving. However, today's high-quality videos demand higher-quality ads. Ad stitching services need the mezzanine file to generate ads that are suited to environments with varying levels of bandwidth, screen size, and platform support. Two other important features necessary for serving high-quality video ads are the Universal Ad ID and Ad Categories. The Universal Ad ID helps publishers and ad vendors track ad creative across systems. This feature is designed to support creative tracking programs that may be required by law in some countries. An example of a voluntary creative tracking program in the United States is Ad ID, but any program may be identified for this feature. Ad Categories, also supported in the VAST update, are used to prevent ads from playing alongside a competitor or to keep certain ads from playing where they shouldn't, such as an ad for alcohol in a video made for children. VAST 4 also includes new performance features, including guidelines for providing ready-to-serve files, a separate file location for interactive ad components, and a limit on VAST wrappers. Ready-to-serve files are simple videos that come in three different quality levels designed for easy ad serving to just about any system. Guidelines for the three quality levels are outlined in the ad format guidelines and are also supported in VAST. These simplified files help ensure that an ad is served when the player can execute a more complex file. Standardized file guidelines ensure that players know what to expect when they look for the best quality file to play. Ads that are more complex need a better process for execution to improve delivery performance. In VAST 4, we've made recommendations to separate the interactive components from the simple video files. When video files are wrapped in interactive code, such as the IAB's Video Player Ad Interface Definition, or VPAID, it may not play correctly if the player is not equipped to execute it. In ad stitching systems, the file might not play at all. Providing the plain video file separately from the interactive component improves performance and enables playback in more systems. Another important feature in VAST 4 is support for ad verification. Buyers often employ ad verification services to measure how many of their ads have actually been viewed. These services often use a file like VPAID to check for ad viewability. While usually effective, the process can slow down ad performance. In VAST 4, verification services get a special place to put their code. This feature prevents ad playback and measurement operations from getting tangled up and causing performance issues. Outside of the verification placement, publishers can also use the new Viewable Impression feature to offer their own services for tracking ad viewability. VAST 4 and the long-awaited update to the digital video ad format guidelines go a long way to improving ad delivery in today's complex video marketplace. As part of the resources that IAB is offering with these releases, a pilot program was launched to test VAST implementations. As the pilot program draws to a close, Look for resources that can help video content publishers update their players in support of the new VAST. In the meantime, look for other video technology resources at iab.com.